With these commentary videos, I always try to one-up myself and stand out in some way, shape, or form. You know, the internet is such an expansive void of content, yet commentary channels are very quick to dig up the most interesting stories which lie beneath the rubble. You know, I would have loved to have been the first guy to talk about a number of stories on this platform, though at this point there's not much that hasn't already been said. That is why I'm pleased to present a new story, a mystery, an unsolved mystery of one of the most bizarre personalities ever to have breached the very surface of YouTube's algorithm. Satanic worship, murder attempts, and a hell of a lot of harmonica solos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Tool Red. Let's start simple. I want you to watch this video. It's a Tool Red. Here's another nice couplet. So here goes. One, two, three. Money Mooney, Mooney Money, Money Maker, Money Sucker, oh what a way, Money Maker, Hard Worker, that's the right way, Mooney Money, Money Mooney. This video was my first exposure to a Tool Red's content in 2016, and I was instantly hooked. You know, watching that back, you probably just exhibited the same emotions that I had felt the first time I watched this. What began as confusion turned into hysterical laughter and then finally ended with a sense of worry. Look, I don't blame you if you felt that way. This guy looks like a Charlie Brown Snape fever dream. The harmonica solos, backlighting, and lyrics are all ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that he says his own name and then copyright at the end of it. But you read copyright. Yeah, this man is an enigma, one that I could not take my eyes off of. And it was this video that kick-started my journey down the rabbit hole, a rabbit hole I could never escape. Hundreds of videos, photos, streams of consciousness, each more bizarre than the last. Frankly, I'm surprised that this man hasn't been talked about yet. He's got a decent following online, and commentary channels are seemingly quick to jump on cases of mental health issues. You know, I find that there's so much filler with this guy that I think it's best we go over larger aesthetic periods of his works thus far. So I'm gonna present everything in chronological order, kind of scrapping together what little information we know about this man. Don't worry, I'll show more clips and photos. I want to get to the bottom of this, and I'm taking you along with me. Let's start from the beginning. Our story, like most, begins during childhood. A tool red hails from the city of Noida in India. I make this guess because Noida appears several times throughout his videos, not to mention that on his website he just puts his address there, so I think it's a pretty safe assumption to make. Quick thing about this whole situation, Atul Red keeps everything in the public eye. He's got like three phone numbers you can call, he gives out his email address, we know his actual address. If you want to find this guy, you definitely can. That being said, don't harass the guy. I mean, his home life is bad enough as is, he doesn't need that extra little bit of annoyance in his day. Anyway, let's get back to it. According to his now taken down website, atulred.name, quote, Atul Red is the eldest child of the family. His father was a military general, General Krishan Lal, Chief Diplomat 1. Qualifications, double M tech control, engineering computers, advanced missiles radar, and telecom. Was called the giant robot by his fellow officers. Atul Red's mother, Nirmal Kumari Lal, was a highly sophisticated lady masters in music literature and journalism. The rest of the family members, too, have been very challenging and famous personalities. End quote. Assuming what he says is true, there are quite a few things to dissect within this paragraph. First and foremost, we know with the opening line that he has at least one sibling. He's the eldest, after all. Now, there are no known photos of these siblings, at least that I could find, though I'll tell you right now, there are at least two, and they will come back in a very big way. Next are his parents, who, aside from being shown once or twice by his son online, are practically off the face of the internet. So I couldn't find anything on his mom's degrees, though there was a paragraph on the website that said she was quote, the daughter of an educationist who was responsible for the education of royal institutions. His dad's position in the military is also quite a mystery. I have yet to confirm either his dates of service or his ranking. That being said, the website does say that he was, quote, the son of a lance cop in the British army. 
I think that's pretty interesting. You know, based on Atul Red's manic behavior thus far, I don't know if either of these claims are true. That being said, his parents' jobs are something that I don't think he would need to or want to lie about, so I'll, I'll believe him on this one. Doing a quick search of Major General K. Law, though, yields a very interesting story. One of an officer discharged from the Indian military on account of sexual harassment charges of a fellow female officer. Here's a news report from the time. In perhaps the first instance of its kind, a major general of the Indian Army will be dismissed from service next week for harassing a woman officer. An Army court martial has found Major General A.K. Lal guilty of sexually harassing a lady captain. Now, his dismissal is subject to confirmation by the Army headquarters and the Defense Ministry. Major General Lal was heading the Leh based 3 Infantry Division last year when a lady captain complained. Now that general was immediately removed from his post and he was kept confined to army formations, first at Srinagar and then at Bhatinda in Punjab. Now we have a mystery man, a criminal. I can't conclusively say that this is a Tool Red's father though. Let's look at what we know. The names aren't exactly the same, and as well, the broadcast doesn't actually show a photo that we can compare to our known photo of a Tool Red's father. I did find a different article which did show a photo, and aside from the mustache, there isn't really any similarity between our two people. That being said, doing a quick dive into a Tool Red's YouTube channel does yield this photo, which gives us a name. It's not his father's name though. His father's named Krishan, not Kumar. Actually, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the name Atul would explain where Atul Red comes from. I guess that's his name. So let me get this straight. Atul Red, his father, and I guess this criminal guy are all named A.K. Lal. Who knows, this could be a coincidence. Three guys running around India with the same name is not that much of a stretch considering the country has billions of people running around. As well, I'm still not convinced of the likeness issue, so you know what, for now we're gonna scrap that case. I'm just presenting every little bit of data I can find. If you guys find any connections there, let me know. So I'm looking into the Atul Red father situation, as one does, and I find this article that says another Major General A.K. Lal got life in prison in a 24-year-old fake encounter case. I am so confused. Is this a different guy? Is there 55 AK lols running around, all of them being criminals? What is going on? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put everything in the description. You can look at these articles yourself and try and piece it together, because right now I am so confused. Anyway, back to our main paragraph. Our last sentence of this paragraph provides some much needed insight on the situation. Quote, Atul Red was brought up on the basis of vanvas, meaning study and perfect, with or without help, etc., to get new perfect." End quote. Vanvas directly translates in Hindi to exile. This is likely a man taken away from his home at some point, left to learn and study on his own. So then this new perfect he strives for is the overarching question key to understanding the Atul Red mythos. What is this new perfect? How does it manifest in his art? Is it real? Let's look at what we know. Everybody come study, study the love, study the money, study me, study everybody, everybody come study. Let's quickly jump back to the website. Quote, Atul Red studied at the best institutions around the world. He started his education at Frank Anthony School, then studied at Mount St. Mary's, then studied at Hollywell School, then studied at Bishop Cotton School, and did two years college, 10 plus two plus two, without any break or fail or stoppage. His variety of study environments created his academic aesthetic persona. He went to many institutions on training assignments, training on academic aesthetic intelligence." End quote. From this paragraph, we know he jumped around schools quite a bit, and that could be for a multitude of reasons, the most plausible of which include one, some schools don't offer every single grade. Oftentimes, you'll have to switch at a certain milestone year, perhaps grade six, grade eight, something like that, so maybe he did that a few times. Number two, he could have unfortunately been bullied, and that could have resulted in his life in exile that was mentioned before. Number three, maybe he could have been gifted, forced to switch around schools in search of a challenge, in search of whatever training assignments or academic aesthetic intelligence is, more on that later. One thing we can infer, though, is that Atul Red must have enjoyed his time as an academic because he began to teach. If we take a look at his first two YouTube videos, we actually are able to make this connection. Take a look.
very quickly look at the setting and also take note of Atulred's call and response use of the English language in tandem with this Longman Basics English dictionary that I was able to spot out. I figure that based on these clues, Atulred must have been an English teacher in the city of Noida. So yeah, it was at this time where he began expressing himself artistically on YouTube, and that's where we get our first taste of his harmonica soloing and this famous photo that he loves to plaster everywhere on the internet. So, 36 of the next 48 videos feature our hero's mugshot-like photo scarcely lying on the wall, underscored by the unsettling sounds of the harmonica. Take a listen. Hey, that's freaky, right? This has become the guy's basic format. He's practically stuck with it for the last eight years. Let's see where he takes it. Funny, funny looking clowns Keeps on laughing without understanding Funny, funny looking clowns This era begins with the publishing of Atul Red's now most famous video, Selfie Aesthetic 1. It's here where he sprinkles a lot of important nuggets of data. So, uh, yeah, roll it. I'm a 50-year-old man. 50. And but... I believe in aesthetics. So the immediate first clue here is that we learn his age. Given that the video came out in 2014, this means Atul Red either turned 50 or 51 in that year. Flash forward to 2021, and this means he's either 57 or 58 at the time of this video's release. So the rest of this video is actually very important for answering the question of what is that new perfect? And he makes it clear right from the get-go that this new perfect is actually the aforementioned concept of academic aesthetic intelligence. I want to talk about aesthetic intelligence. What is aesthetic intelligence? The power, the beauty, the honest worship. The worship of God is through aesthetics. If you don't have an aesthetic intelligence, you've got nothing for yourself. You have nothing for others. Just being beautiful mind, a beautiful person, is enough for you to go to heaven. you got to be beautiful. you got to convert all the ugliness into beautiful. We are... We're just here for a short time, and if we don't do this in a short time, then we're in hell. So in Atul Red's mind, having a beautiful mind is the only way to ascend into the heavens, finding heaven, heaven on, on earth, earth, heaven, heaven in, in heaven, 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 heaven everywhere. everywhere. Jumping back to the website actually gives us a much more thorough reading of what it means to be beautiful. Quote, the power of academic aesthetics is such that it can transform hell into heaven. Academics has been the principal source of progress of humans, but as we observe today, there are lots of creations, but the aesthetic factor is missing. The next step is academic aesthetics. It is a subject invented by a tool red to harness the academic aesthetic ability of the young minds who want to express themselves in the best way possible. A tool red would like the like-minded to come together for this amazing project. End quote. This is the way I see it. A tool red invented visions a utopia, one in which its inhabitants find beauty in the mundane. And I'm talking about aesthetic selfies, aesthetic intelligence, and aesthetics in a way we have never seen before, better than gods, better than alien earths, better than any universe of aesthetics, a true reds aesthetics. This utopia is clearly his project, his Plato's Republic, his 21 Pilots Dima. This is a universe that he has created and won't stop until it's fully realized. So this academic aesthetic intelligence then exists in our known world in the form of love and expression, and with that comes a pursuit of like-minded thinkers. I'm here for a purpose, and that is to find out how many beautiful people are there in the world today. Show me you're beautiful. Don't just say I'm beautiful. Show me you're beautiful. That's the kind of team I'm looking for. So this army of beautiful people then is meant to spread this beauty throughout the generations. So then Atul Red sees the people that study academic aesthetic intelligence as beautiful, but then the ugly people are the ones who don't believe in his message. So my favorite photo he's ever put out reads, and I quote, My dream is to meet the perfect e-girl, but Satan makes them all ugly. So at first, I prescribed ugly to be in the physical sense, though we know now that ugly really means that they just don't subscribe to his ideology. So how do we know then who subscribes to his ideology? Well, I think he can only see it through positive reinforcement in the comments. This explains why if you dug through any of his social media accounts, all of his poems and photos are as a result of countless requests from people who in his eyes are beautiful, when in reality they're likely just making fun of him. 
Back in high school, I even tried to get him to shout me out in a video. It didn't work. So now we have a basic understanding of what his meaning of life is, let's jump back to his videos. It was at this time where his videos became more outgoing, featuring him on camera instead of just his photo. And now we circle all the way back to our original video, Money Mooney. It's a two red. Here's another nice couplet. So here goes. One, two, three. He does hear what are called couplets, little poems sandwiched in between two harmonica solos. These couplets, I guess, are an expression of his inner beauty, meant to spread awareness about academic aesthetic intelligence in pursuit of these like-minded thinkers. So a tool red loves to shout people out, there's no question about that. A lot of them are like young girls though, which kind of freaks me out. So a lot of these couplets are dedicated to these girls, and then when you rewatch them with that added context, they kind of read as these very strange love poems, almost. Let's play one as an example. Kakistan girl, 2008. I like the way you accentuate. I like the way you articulate. Kakistan girl, 2008. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. Let's get back to the video. Among my favorites are a trilogy of videos about, quote, a super girl. These do not disappoint, let me just tell you right now. Super, super girl. Wait, what did you want me to say? I, I, I need you, you, you. Okay, f man. You know, every now and then he'll switch up the instrumentation or camera setup, which is something I can definitely appreciate. Do you love me? 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 This guy is unreal. Perfect people, perfect people, perfect people, perfect people. Like all creative endeavors of the internet, versatility within the bounds of a unique style is key. A tool red here keeps his couplet format strong, though he switches the visual focus to an exploration of the minimalist. Couplets are now accompanied by still images, most of the time being either his iconic standing pose or weird cryptic clip art and drawings with his name on it. Gotta catch gotta a train, catch, train, catch, train, you train, train, train gotta catch gotta a train. Catch a train, 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 train. He also began experimenting with vocal effects, mostly pitch and reverb. This is the perfect time. Okay, we don't need to listen to this. A string of six videos during this era would eventually lead to a year-long hiatus from the platform. These videos are 10-minute long rants about, you guessed it, terrorism of all things, a major problem in which this man, Atul Red, has a solution to. The minimalist era abruptly ends with a video titled, We Are All Killers, and in this video he opens with the following. Here's another song, but this is the last song I'm singing. If the terrorist problem does not get solved in my lifetime, I will never sing again. This video was published April of 2017. He would not return until March of the next year. Why are we? Why are we? Why are we? So I guess the terrorist crisis must be over, or maybe he just needs some money. Either way, a tool red is back, people. I think I'll stick with the latter. All over his website and couplets and whatnot are very explicit requests for money. He even coined a term called perfect money protocols, which there may be some significance there, but I doubt it goes anywhere beyond, oh, I need money, give me money. So clearly this guy doesn't have a lot of money, and it was at this time where a full-on spiritual awakening occurred in our protagonist, enough so that the very concept of spirituality now drives his work. In his first video back from his hiatus, Atul Red looks up to a higher power for help. Oh God, oh God, tell me what to do now, God. Oh God, oh God. The following 95 videos are among the most manic and sporadic to date. We're given glimpses into his surrounding environment, seemingly run down and full of garbage. It seems as well that he's checked himself into a neuropsychiatric rehabilitation clinic. We're also shown plenty of satanic imagery, lots of sixes and mentions of the devil by name. The most interesting video comes early in this era. It's a confusing accusation of get this, a murder attempt on a tool red. So I dug for more info about this, obviously, and turns out while in the minimalist era, a tool red had been posting several photos and videos about this supposed murder attempt on his other accounts. And get this, his younger brother, his younger sister, and her separated husband are the ones that are allegedly seeking his blood. <laughs> I told you they'd come back in a big way. Like, take a look at some of these videos. They're actually kind of disturbing. Hey, 
So many questions come from this. Why his siblings? Was there a falling out between them? Does this have something to do with Atul Red's unorthodox line of thinking? Did he make this all up? As of right now, all of these questions are left unanswered. In the jungle, the alien jungle, the alien sleeps tonight. The guy needs money. The guy needs love. The guy needs beautiful people in both the physical sense and the ideological one. The content of this era largely frames him as one of two things, either the victim worthy of your sympathy, or the attractive love interest worthy of your attention. Or sometimes both. This video titled Atul Red Sexy kickstarts this disturbing trend. Good news, people. He added the triangle to his repertoire, though, something that I never knew I needed. This era is also fit with lots of conspiracy stuff, DMT-related content, and political commentary, of all things. Oh, and this guy's developed a full-on god complex, too. In his most recent videos, he calls himself the god of selfies. Maybe he is, I don't know. He's just kind of doing his own thing, and it's very spread out all over the place. I suggest you go and look for yourself. Hi, guys, it's a true rap. How do you do? Do you remember me? Here is our final summary. Atul Red, born in 1964 with the name Atul Kumar Lal, is from the city of Noida in India. His mother, Nirmal Kumari Lal, is a master's in music literature and journalism, and his father, Krishan Lal, may or may not be a military criminal. We don't know. Regardless, both have since passed away, leaving Atul Red and his two siblings to carry on. Atul's manic and worrisome behavior is a product of a broken home. Likely at some point there was a falling out between him and his siblings, and now his siblings allegedly seek his blood. By definition, Atul Red should see his siblings as having ugly minds, ones that do not believe in his aesthetic outlook on life and what comes after. As a cry for help, he turned to teaching as a way to spread his message around the world. This is in the hopes of creating a community of beautiful people, bountiful in love and expression, able to pass this message down across the generations. Though his hair is now grey, Atul Red continues to post regularly, and though his website has been taken down, he continues to ask his supporters for money. I have no way to prove this, I don't have any video evidence, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I was actually able to call Atul Red many years ago. So the guy had three numbers on his website, and we checked what time it was in India then, and it was like 3.30 in the morning, like prime time to be asleep. So you know, we figured, oh, he's probably not gonna answer, he's asleep, you know, whatever. We pick the first number, we try calling it, and I kid you not, within half a ring, he goes, Oh, it's a tool red. Of course we weren't filming at the time. We didn't think the guy was going to answer. And what are you supposed to say to that? Oh, hi, Mr. Red. Nice to meet you. What? So that's what happened. We kind of froze up and, you know, like... I, I just couldn't believe he answered. Believe me, I tried to get a hold of him by phone, by email, by Skype even for this video. I wanted to get an interview with the guy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of him. I'm gonna keep trying though. I will keep trying. I'm gonna keep fighting for it. Let's hope for a part two where I can actually interview the guy and maybe get some clarity on some of these points. And that, my friends, is the Atul Red story. Thanks, yeah. There's probably quite a few pieces I'm missing here, like the fact that he very well could be a racist and a homophobe and a sexist. I'm just gonna flash 20 photos here. Some of these are pretty questionable. There's not really a thesis to this video, it's more so my own cry for help. People, we've got a mystery on our hands, and I've only given you the initial background. There are so many unanswered questions that come from this. Did his dad commit that crime? Did he forge these murder attempt photos in a last-ditch effort for relevancy or for money? Is there a more sinister agenda behind this all? Is he a genius? Is he crazy? I'll let you know once the terrorist crisis is over. Sicky Nuds, copyright.